Hey guys, uh, in this video, I'm going to tell you about installation of Ansible um, in our lab environment. Since uh, the on-tap simulator requirement in these days are very high, uh, even a single node need some 5 GB of um, memory. And considering though, though generally we have a huge uh, memory even in the home labs these days up to 32 GB or 64 GB, but uh, some of the laptops comes with the constraint of 16 GB of memory, not, not beyond that. So considering that fact, I have decided to go ahead with the lighter version of uh, Linux. And the idea is to save some resources on the Linux side because I don't have any option to save resources for memory on the on-tap on, on -tap simulator side. So in this process, I have decided to go ahead with uh, LUbuntu again, which is called Light Ubuntu. And uh, this version uh, basically is the lighter version of the Ubuntu, which would need very less memory, sometimes 1 GB or 512 MB of RAM. So this is one of the light version of Ubuntu. You can go with any version, but uh, I decided this one so that it does. It should not consume more memory on my system and I should have ample memory to play around. Now uh, talking about Ansible, uh, I'm going to show you to install uh, Ansible 2.7 which is one of the latest version of Ansible and uh, having said that uh, to search for Ansible you can go to internet and search for uh, Ansible 2.7, install Ansible 2.7 it is going to show you this guide and in this guide already there are different options available to install Ansible on different um, different uh, operating system. We'll go ahead with Ubuntu. Uh, these are some of the steps which you need for installation in Ubuntu. I have already copied these steps for you here. So uh, let's not waste the time and start installing Ansible. Okay. Before I go ahead and install that, let me see if any version of Ansible is already installed. So, command not found. I can see there is no other version of Ansible is already installed on this version. So, this is a brand new system. I am going to install Ansible first time on this one. Uh, as uh, some of you know or I don't know, I, I should tell you that Ansible is very much dependent on Python, although actually it is uh, built out of python and and it it has a requirement of python in on the system so let's see which python version we have already so i can see i have python 2.7 we will go ahead and install ansible with python 2.7 it's up to you if you want to upgrade the python to python 3 you can go ahead and install python 3 as well but uh, I in for this demo I will go ahead and install Python. I will install Ansible with Python 2.7. Okay, um, let's begin with these step. First step, apt get update. Okay. It was pretty fast. Now the second step, apt get install software properties. Okay, quick one. Third step, it's going to update the repo. So this was again quick. Now we are on the last step, installing Ansible. Yep. 
I am not going to pause my video because my expectation is it's not going to take a lot of time uh, and it should be pretty quick. But if still it takes time, okay, oh yeah, that's that's very fast. So let's see which version of Ansible is installed over here. Ansible dash version. Okay, we have Ansible 2.7.5, which is one of the latest version of Ansible. Um, we can see here it's already installed on our system now. So yeah, uh, just go ahead, uh, install Ansible on your lab environment. And uh, in upcoming videos, I will show you how to install a NetApp module for Ansible. Uh, once we have NetApp module installed for Ansible, then we will go ahead and start creating some fun work around this lab. So keep watching. Thank you guys.